Hello people around the world, welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Bacasso Love Rest Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you've been notified of my new videos. Guys, don't forget to read your Bible every day and apply His words every day. Jesus Christ is coming very soon, and get excited. And also guys, I have a lot of guest words that you might want to check out if you want to be ministered to or to be encourage every day so i have a lot of guest words that i've been posting only on my facebook page it is www.facebook.com slash adrenal b and also i have two books that you might want to check out that's those are my life's testimonies that jesus what jesus christ has done in my life from the day when i was sexually molested nine years old the day when i was uh, abused by my first husband how Jesus intervened in my life when I got car accident back 2008 that my the, the car that I was driving with my daughter she was 14 months old baby at the time was hit by the school bus 50 miles per hour so that car accident guys was my greatest greatest testimonies that I cannot stop sharing the goodness of Jesus Christ because I was three, day, three days come at this. So guys, I have already reached out around 300,000 people around the world through my books. But all in all, in this ministry, since the last 2008 and until these days, I've been using a lot of social media platforms in person my books i have already reached out around six hundred thousand people around the world and i would love to reach out billions of people around the world if god permits me to do it so so i can't do it without his help so those the three hundred thousand people around the world it was not my credit it was jesus christ who did it and he will gonna do more for his glory and his kingdom because it's coming very very soon guys so get excited yeah you check out my books guys uh on my author's page if you want to so why the first edition is very very popular so you can check it out that is uh on my page that is www.amazon.com slash author slash adrenaline so guys i have a word for you guys that the holy spirit spoke to me this is god's word letter a the holy spirit spoke to me last june 13 2023 the title of this message is when god jesus returns how many will he find on earth who have faith so he took me to the book of luke chapter 18 verse 8 nlt or new living translation it says i tell you he will grant justice to them quickly but when the son of man that is jesus returns how many will he find on the earth who have faith? So I did the research, guys. So this is a uh, reference from Google. I'm uh, not from Bible. Sorry. Reference is www.bibletools.org. So the question was, what is Luke chapter 18, verse 8? So the one that I just mentioned a while ago. So what is Luke chapter 18, verse 8 means? So the, the blogger says, This sobering scripture aims directly at anyone who is left standing, so to speak. At his coming, Christ looked down through the millennia and saw us, looked into our hearts and wondered, Where's the faith? What faith is Jesus talking about? It cannot be in his existence because even the demons believed that that is in the book of james chapter 2 verse 19 so by the way james guys he is um uh, the half brother of jesus christ so just to let you know jesus christ had siblings half brothers and half sisters so if you don't want to you know um believe me i want you guys to verify the words so do not believe your preachers out there okay so Continue, guys. Demons also have a great deal of respect for God's power and sovereignty. What the demons do not believe in is God's love and all that springs up, springs from it. For instance, how could Satan have re rebelled if he really believed in God's love for him? 
perhaps the original iniquity found in Satan, the start of all trouble, was his lack of faith in God's love for him. For whatever is not from faith is sin. That is in the book of Romans chapter 14, 23. So you guys can look it up in your own time. So that faithlessness led, led to pride and vanity. <clears throat> and ultimately to rebellion. When Christ returns, will he find a people who believe how much God loves them and therefore and therefore will trust in him no matter what the physical evidence looks like. That is the faith Christ is talking about in verse 8. In the preceding verses, Christ contrasts the unjustice judge who could not care less to the true God, who could not care or love more. The underlying subject of that parable is God's faithfulness and love and jesus gave it to encourage our faith in the father's love then in verse 8 in then in verse 8 christ says i tell you that the father will avenge means the elect speedily followed immediately by nevertheless when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? A definition for nevertheless is in spite of believing in the depth of his love. Our salvation depends on believing. Again, our salvation depends on believing how special we are to God. How much he loves us. Jesus says in verse 1, Then he spoke a parable to them. That man always ought to pray and not lose heart. Along with prayer, this parable teaches us about not losing heart, enduring to the end. Knowing how much God loves us can give us the courage and hope we need to face and endure what is ahead. And then I have another one here, guys. So, he gave me the Bible verse. For you guys so this is a bible verse matthew chapter 9 verse 38 nlt or new living translation it says so pray to the lord who is in charge of the harvest ask him to send more workers into his field okay so he took me to you know i don't i am just a kind of like a new teacher to you guys so but i i still need more other you know, Christians' ideas. So I, he took me to the uh, of the blog, this blogger. So reference is Bible, uh, www.biblestudytools.org. So I really encourage you guys to go to that, you know, website in your free time if you would like to know more, um, you know, get more idea and your, especially your own study about the Word of the Lord. So this is a really good a place to to start with if you want okay so go back to this guys what is matthew chapter 9 verse 38 means so that's the one that i was talking about i just read about okay so it says here that pray ye therefore the lord of the harvest so the blogger says by the lord of the harvest is either meant god the father who's our old elect who has the hearty concern for them and will have them all gathered in. Not one of them shall be left or the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Who has the care and charge of the whole election of grace. And who, as he must, he will bring them all in. And who has power of sending forth laborers. As the following chapter shows and so this is a proof of of prayer being made to christ that he will send forth laborers into his harvest field or into his harvest sorry this is the petition that disciples of christ were put upon making to the lord of the harvest or on consideration of the present condition multitudes of souls were in 
they could not make, qualify, and set out ministers themselves. This is not this is not man's work, but God's. He only is able to furnish with ministerial gifts to work upon, and powerfully inclined hearts of men to this service. Okay, hold on, guys. My okay, this service to call and send them out forth into it and to assist and succeed them in it. The persons desired to be sent are laborers like me. I'm one of his laborers, faithful, diligent, and industrious preachers to the gospel such as lay up themselves, their time, talents, and strength in their master's service. So he's talking about Jesus. Jesus is my, is my master. And as I hope that it is, he is you too. He is your master as well. This is an ad lib case. Okay. And do not indulge themselves in sloth, sloth and idleness, laziness. Okay. The place they are desired to be sent into is into the harvest, into the field of the world, where God's elect lie, and their labor and their labor in preaching the gospel, hoping for a divine blessing and an almighty power to attend their ministrations for the conversion for the conversion of sinners and edification of saints. The request the disciples are directed to make concerning this persons for this work is that the Lord of the harvest would send or thrust them forth, implying power and efficacy and authority on the part of the sender and backwardness on the part of those that are sent Through modesty, a sense of the greatness of the work, the work, and of their own unworthiness and unfitness for it. Very opportunely did our Lord move his disciples to put up his this petition and was done. No question with a view to and to prepare for his mission of the twelve preach the gospel, of which there is an account in the next chapter. So that's the last word from the blog again. Okay? So this is what the Lord the Spirit spoke to me right now, that when, when Jesus Christ, before he went to heaven, guys, he instructed his people, disciple, like the, not, not, not only the 12 disciples, he instructed that in Matthew chapter 28, I believe, that he said that you have to preach the Gospels around the world, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit baptized them in water. So that's why, like we we followers of Jesus Christ, we have to follow that steps. So we can when we accept Jesus Christ as the Lord or God or Savior, He expect Jesus expect us to grow, grow in the knowledge of Him, and we're gonna need to apply His words so that what we have learned, what we have learned, and what we have uh, endured and overcome the trials that we we passed. We're gonna learn. We're gonna teach that to other people. We're gonna teach them. So we are all teachers. We are all learners. And as well, we're not gonna like keep learning but not teaching. We have to teach others to as well. So that's why like wherever we go, guys, our life is a lifestyle. It's a book. It's an open book to the world. You don't have to say anything that you are a Christian. People know that you are a Christian that because of your love, your love for them, for, you know, for your willingness to care for them, for, you know, just being a gestures of kindness, your love, your, your care, you know, for them. We're telling, hi, you know, how are you? Stuff like that, guys. Those, those are really matters for the people who are broken out there. Do you really, you don't know that what are the people are, are dealing out there in the world, you know? So that's why we, the Christians, we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. That's why when we go out there, in the heart, that's the harvest field. If you like to go, you don't have to go to missionary field if you don't have the money, but you you know, use the gadgets, use the Facebook, use the TikTok, use anything 
YouTube channel to reach out the loss or books or whatever that God is your talents your if you you're good in singing do it even like anything guys like that the Lord has given you because we have we have work here so do not just like oh I gonna I gonna help help the person next to you or that is your harvest harvest field if you are in college that is your harvest field if you are in school that is your harvest field I mean yeah if you're working in the factory, if you're working in the hospital as a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're working in the courthouse or working anywhere, or me, I'm working in Walmart as a sales rep, that's my harvest field. Or this one is my harvest field. Anywhere is my harvest field. Because you know what? Wherever I go, that's my harvest field. Wherever you go, that's your harvest field. When you get out, make sure when you get out in this house, in your house, make sure that you read your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray. Pray, meditate, pray. You have to have the ballot. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Okay, so your bullet, the words are with the Lord. So you cannot get out there without the word of God, without spending time with the Lord because the devil is cunning. He will attack you and I every single day until we until the day we die. So when when we will gonna stop reading the Bible, you are you will defeat you will be defeated. You will be defeated that day. So that's why we always have guard our hearts, mind, soul, every channel of our heart because the devil is cunning. So yeah, I really encourage all that do not, just don't wait to, 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 to tell or to tell them about Jesus Christ. You know what? You know, like me, I actually use my book marketing with the, uh, with the, um, Freedom in Christ, uh, what do you call it, like, Freedom in Christ Church logo to, to invite people to come to church or, like, to invite people to read my book. Because, you know what, my book, guys, has a lot of scriptures. And um, the book is pertaining to the people who are hurting, people who are lost, people who, who wanted to die, who wanted to kill themselves because I've been there, who, who are victims of abuse, rape, child abuse any abuse guys so yeah i am healed and i want you guys to know that i wanna those books are not necessarily to promote myself it's necessarily to promote jesus christ and for the people especially you guys are hurting out there that you will know that you are not alone you're not alone in this world and you can overcome you can overcome for all the trials that you're going through or you went through that you can you have the power and authority to leave them behind right guys so yeah that's what the lord say that um we need to be really proactive active very very active for building his kingdom for his glory because he's coming very 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 soon guys so you know what i am not really supposed to come over here when i on the way to work but the holy spirit told me to come over here you know most every day guys because he's coming he's coming very soon and I have you know it's it just like um we are so close guys we're so we're, we're very 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 close to 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 see the Jesus Christ in the sky that's in the uh New Testament he will take he will appear himself in heaven that everybody around the world will see him and that day is a great event that that those people who will who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord, your God and Savior, will be taken to heaven. Will be taken to heaven. You know, it happened that before the, the life of Enoch, Enoch has been alive for more than two thousand years. Elijah as well didn't die. They were taken. They were raptured, they were being raptured, and God will gonna do that as well to us true followers. That's why we true followers we cannot just look at those people who are hurting out there and not tell them about Jesus. You know, it's our job to just tell them about the love of Jesus Christ, and it's really up to them. It's up to them to to receive it or not. But you know, so that's the word, guys. Okay. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. Today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You may gonna die today or tomorrow without Jesus Christ. You will go to hell, not in purgatory. 
but in hell. Sadly, in hell. There are only two places that Jesus Christ mentioned. Either hell or heaven. Not in between. Did he ever mention purgatory? No. So if he didn't mention that word purgatory, that is not from him. You always have to follow Jesus' teachings. Otherwise, if you will follow the teachings of your priest out there or other doctrines, you will fall into it and continue to believe until the day you die, you will go to hell. You will go to hell. Not purgatory, in hell. Your soul will not gonna be you will not gonna be uh uh, going to heaven if other people are going to pray for your soul. That is not biblical. That is not biblical. That is a lie from hell. Alright guys, so guys, all you have to do guys to be part of Jesus' kingdom, Jesus' family is to repent. Repent. Genuinely repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior. Put that in your heart. And then Promise him to follow him for the rest of your life. Guys, you can pray your own simple prayer. You can pray along with a simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But if you are still written, Re uh, refusing Jesus Christ or rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior. You're still living a lie. You're still living in, in unforgiveness, in bitterness, in anger. You're still living in a wicked life. Guys, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire so guys take this as a warning and invitation you have a blessed day bye bye